Welcome to the Braun Booth 1311. I'm here with Brian Goldberg from NYU Lagoon Health Systems. We're going to be going through their most current uh, purchase with Braun. Brian, you want to tell us a little bit about NYU Lagoon? Yeah, so at NYU Lagoon, we've got um, pretty good units. We're spread out through uh, New York City as well as Long Island. Um, we're with ALS and BLS units. Total about 80,000 calls a year in the New York 91 system. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to walk back up here a little bit. Brian, let's talk about your OSS1 compartment and what you guys use out of here. So we normally obviously keep our main O2 tank uh, over here, but we have a lot of space over here. We keep our backboard, scoop stretcher, um, uh, sked, traction splints, and long splints. So this is kind of everything that's pretty tall we keep in here. For Surprising amount of room, right? Right in uh, next to that. You know, just things that we don't always use on every call. Right. right. It's pretty easily accessible. Okay. Well, all right. Wonderful. Wonderful. Also, if you notice on the bronze in your oxygen compartment, we always put your your specs for your weights, and this is also where we locate your triple K certifications at. Also. All right, Ryan. Uh, compartment two. What do you guys hold up in here with? You? Now, once again. This compartment that you chose to go with a diamond plated shelf with a rhino line on top. So what do you keep in here, Brian? So normally we put um, helmets for uh, fire standby, keep those in here. Um, and then jumper cables, tow ropes in the bottom here. Okay. And they're easily accessible. Okay. Now you guys do quite a bit of shared calling with uh, FDNY, correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you have to be able to have to be an asset to them as well. Exactly. So you know, we're mandated to carry certain equipment with us, turn out here, helmets every day, clothes, and fish store in here. Okay. Okay. Here's their outside compartment number three. This, this one has your inside outside access with adjustable shelves and your storage for some oxygen bottles towards the bottom and your stair chair on the door. So what what uh, medical supplies do you keep that you have to do the inside outside access? So usually C collars is the big one that we'll keep over here. We can access them from inside if something comes up, but also from the outside as we're going over to an MBA. Grab one, then we're going out. Okay. And usually some gloves up here as well. All right. Inside and outside. Awesome. Wonderful. Wonderful. Go around the other side. Um, if you also notice, they have the backup camera with the protective housing around it. Now, Brian, yes. there's been a lot of questions at the show. Yes. This white patch. Yes. So what is this white patch for? So underneath here, or over here, um, we'll say New York State Certified Ambulance. Okay. Um, so once it's gone through the inspection process with New York State DOH, we pull that off and you'll have the certified ambulance. Okay, okay. wonderful. There's a lot of bets going on what it is for. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So out here, box compartment number two. So what, what's your... As you see, these are fixed shelves. They're not adjustable. So what do you keep in here that you're not adjusting? So these are usually uh, our trauma bags. Okay. So we'll keep our MCI bag up here, our trauma bag here, as well as our smoke inhalation kit okay. over here. And then usually um, personal gear over here, turn out gear, things like that. Okay. Yeah, mostly the uh, trauma stuff. So we can grab if we're out of the trauma car. We usually grab it and go as you can see. All right. Wonderful. Then of course you come down, we got they've gone with the bronze sliding door. So what are your thoughts about your sliding door? So we really like this. We're in New York City. Um, if you open a door, open wide, you know, cab will come and take it off. Right. This way it's just it's about safety too. Slide it out, there's a very low profile on it. Stick your head out, you're not throwing things out in the traffic. You can see what's coming. And there's not, again, it's really just about the safety issue for it. Great. Want to look Manhattan. Yeah, right. All right, so up here, 
in their last compartment with inside outside access and their battery storage. What do you guys keep up here, Brian? So this is usually a uh, Pete's bag, Pete's equipment in here. We'll keep uh, all the medications, things like that, all up in here. Um, we've got our spare stretcher for our battery, for our uh, auto loader. We usually keep our suction units up here, okay. things like that. All right, yeah. wonderful. Let's go inside and talk about your layout and the protocols for your layout. All right, so let's talk a little bit because on your standard signature, we have a CPR seat here. Um, what? Why did you guys choose to go with all cabinets? So, we like the cabinet space. We felt that we didn't really use the CPR seat that much, um, the, and cabinet space was key, especially because we're running ALS trucks as well. There's a lot of different equipment that we need to have, and it was just having that extra cabinet space was something that we really needed. Okay, all right. And I see you guys go with the Striker power load cot. Yes. All right. Yeah. We also run with your our Vista screen yeah. with easy access to your tie-ins back here behind the Vista screen. You got your hot grounds in the back and access for your radios. And you also have your O2 right here behind your seat that was out there in outside compartment number one. And then we have our power distribution quarters right behind here with the escort suction. And if you notice, Brian's got on his squad bench right here, right to his right hand side, easy grab biohazard. So he can be innovating, doing IVs, and just dropping everything right there, not having to move around the box. So tell me a little bit you, you've been with uh, in, NYU now for four years. Mm -hmm. Um, you guys got five bronze. Um, so tell me a little bit about what you think about your bronze right now. Yeah, yeah we've got uh, 20... 25 uh, bronze. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. The newest ones, though, you got you got three of these. Yes. And two type ones or two type... Three. Three type, type ones. ones. Okay. Yeah. So these on, on the E chassis are normally our uh, city units. They're small, they're maneuverable, in and out very quickly. Um, for our Long Island division, we went with the F-Series um, because of the four-wheel drive. But... The cabinets are the same, or the mods are the same, right. all of them. Um, it's just the durability, you know, we're doing 80,000 calls a year, you know, our trucks are constantly moving, they're constantly, you know, we run them 24 hours a day, 365, um, and it's, again, it's the durability and the safety factors, you know, there are certain things that, you know, we get the bronze, the sliding doors, the, um, you know, the, all the cabinet space that we need, um, that we really like. You got so, Wonderful. Yeah. So, Another thing too, we have your from the cabinet we just looked at outside. This is the inside view of it with the change notice ten squeeze latches, so Brian and his teams can easily access their pee bags and everything else from inside. Also, now what do you guys keep in this right up here? Yeah, so that's usually where we keep our restock medication box. Um, okay kind of use tackle boxes, slide them in there, the perfect size, right. for whatever reason, you know, we need to, more medication than what we have in our bag, open it up, pop it out, very easy. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. And what do you, what's the storage up here for? So usually that's um, some airway supplies, suction supplies, BVM, CPAPs, up there, and then we'll keep our intubation stuff over here on this side. Okay. Yeah. So you know, you were talking about the reliability and the strength of the brawn. Yeah. Um, one thing I'd like to point out is this rig actually has your squad net in it. With this squad net, one of the standard protocols from Braun is, if you notice, the cot also. So our cot system is a universal cot system. We use 5 8 inch aluminum from front to rear for the cot system, your, t your seated position, and you have 5 8 inch tapping plates in the ceiling welded in. And you also have them welded into your squad bench. So if something happens, you know beyond a shadow of a doubt, these items are not coming out of the floor and you're not ripping it out of the wall. All right, Brian, do you have anything else? Experience with nerd. What? Experience with nerd. Oh, yeah. So one thing I'd really like you to talk about is your relationship with our dealer out there in New York, mm -hmm. Nerve and Bob Wright. Right. Yeah, I and mean, Bob has been, you know, really great to us. You know, he guys are always on top of it you know they build you know really quality work even before you know he was able to put the cabinets in before they were coming out with the uh, 
out the um, CPR chair, um, and he's just been a great resource for us. His team, you know, is constantly checking in, making sure everything's going well. Bob is constantly answering the phone. You know, you call him direct, he's he'll get he's right there. He's always answering the phone for us, talking through us, you know, talking to us in case we have any issues or anything. So it's been really great for us. And I'll tell you, it's uh, it's also a really, really unique thing with uh, Bob Riley and Nerd because. That man will pick up the phone at any time of the day. Yeah. You call him, you're getting the response back. Yeah. So tell us about your experience with Braun itself. Right. Again, I've, you know, you guys have been great. Um, you know, we've had anything, you know, that Bob has needed some help with. He's gone to Braun and gone to your engineers and stuff and, you know, figured out plans and ways to, you know, work around things. Because, you know, as I said, we're a very unique agency, you know, in New York City. You know, our needs are different than a lot of other agencies. So, you know, between Bob and the guys at Braun, we've been able to really like pinpoint, you know, exactly what we need to do best in the New York City area. That's great. That's great, Brian. All right, you got anything else? Oh, that's about it, I think. All right, yeah. wonderful. Thank you for coming out here this week, yep. being with us, allowing us to put your unit on display here at 1311 at the Braun booth. We hope to see, and matter of fact, stop by the booth. We've yep. got a bunch of NYU Lagoon calendars. Yep that they've got with the beautiful bronze on them. So stop by, booth 1311. Thanks again, Brian. Thank you. All right, have, have a, a great day. One. Thanks.